Here's AP Physics B 1999 um, FRQ question. A coin C of mass 0 0.005 kilogram or 5 gram is placed on a horizontal disc at the distance of 0.14 meters or um, 14 centimeters from the center as shown above. The disc rotates at a constant rate in a counterclockwise direction as seen from the above. The disc, the coin does not slip and the time it takes for the coin to make a complete revolution is 1.5 seconds. The figure below shows the disc and coin as viewed from above. Draw and label vectors for, uh, on the figure below to show instantaneous acceleration and linear velocity vectors for the coin when it is at the position shown. So for centripetal acceleration, it's always toward the center, center seeking acceleration, so centripetal acceleration, and the velocity is perpendicular to it. Determine the linear speed of the coin. So for B part, I need to determine the linear speed of the coin. So um, for in order to determine the linear speed of the coin, I need to know the distance that the coin travels in one revolution. So velocity is going to be equal to the distance over the time. The distance over um, that the coin travels is 2 pi r, 2 pi r, and um, the time. So if I plug in my numbers, I have 2 pi and 0.14, the radius. Time is 1.5 seconds. And that will give me 0.59 meters per second. For B part, they say the rate of rotation of the disc is gradually increased. The coefficient of static friction between the coin and the disc is 0.5. Determine the linear speed of the coin when it it just begins to slip. So the coin stays in the position because of the force of friction. So I can say your centripetal force, without this force, um, the object would not be moving in rotational motion. Your centripetal force in this case is your friction force. And centripetal force has a formula of um, M, v squared over r, v squared over r is your centripetal acceleration and equals to force of friction, mu, the static friction because the coin is not sliding, um, g is the normal force. So m and m can be cancelled, then I have the velocity, the maximum velocity um, at which, and, and until which the coin is not going to slide. Of any velocity larger than this one is not going to be strong enough to hold it. Um, in the place. So that is equal to the square root of r mu and g. If I plug in my numbers, I get that equals to 0 0.83 meters per second. For c part, so this was our, um, this was our c part. For d part, So for D, if the experiment in part C were repeated with second identical coin glued to the top of the first coin, how would this affect the answer to part C? Explain your response, responding. So it doesn't matter that the mass of the coin changed. So the mass of the coin changed, but um, my solution did not depend on the mass. Also, it only depends on um, on the radius. It depends on the radius. 
and static friction. So the static friction depends only on two surfaces in contact, the materials that they're made of. And because it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how much mass there is, um, because masses again cancel, what matters is the materials in contact. And because materials of the coins, even though there's two of them glued together, but the materials of the coins are exactly the same, the one that is touching the surface, so there would be no effect on the velocity. So the velocity would stay exactly the same.